Standing to my right is Chiyomo Bagagu. Thank you, Kate. It's great to be back. So can you tell us a little about your experience playing abroad? Yes, I can. I've been there 10 weeks, so roughly a quarter. It's been amazing. All the girls are super nice, super warm. Level's great. Um, very technical players. So I'm having a good time. And so when do you head back there? I'm actually going back on Monday, so I'll be here this weekend and then going across the pond. So can you tell us a little bit more about your teammates? You know, what's the team culture like? How does it differ from your very close-knit group here at Stanford? Right. Um, I'd say the level is very professional. I mean, a lot of them have been doing it for their fourth, fifth year now, and I've only been there for like two, two months, going on three months. Um, but, you know, they take it very seriously, which is nice, but they, they also all still have that passion for the game. So I'm just, you know, trying to learn from all of them because they're all extremely great players. And we all know the transition from college to professional sports is pretty gruesome. And can you explain a little bit about how that transition happened and what were some breakthrough moments that made that transition a little bit easier for you? Um, for me, I was, you know, I always say it's God's doing because I got um, an email from the coach and he used to coach in America. So that's how he knew about Stanford. And um, I've been a longtime Arsenal fan, so it's just very fitting. And then in terms of, you know, the jump, the level is higher. It's, you know, that's all you're doing. It's not school and sports. It's just your, you know, your uh, main focus. So all your energy and thought and preparation go towards that. So it's really a great advantage to, you know, try to get better. And uh, coming in with your breakthrough goal, and I believe it was your first game ever for Arsenal, uh, can you kind of walk us through that moment and explain a little bit about how much that gave you the confidence to continue pushing forward and really make your mark as in this new incoming young player? Yeah, so we were, it was an away game, and my coach said he felt comfortable putting me in, which, you know, helped my confidence. And then we went down a goal, so I was like, oh, I probably won't get in. And then, like, about 30 minutes, he said warm up, and I was, I just, you know, got up, started warming up, and then I went in and couldn't believe it. And then, you know, just try to get my bearings in the new game. And I remember just getting the ball from the left side, and I took a touch and, you know, struck it, and it went in, and I blinked, and my teammates were jumping on me. And it was just, it was unreal. I'll never forget the moment. Great experience. Yeah, another moment we will never forget was your freshman season here at Stanford and how much you propelled this team to that national championship victory. And kind of, it seems to me like your Arsenal fresh, your first year with Arsenal kind of mirrors that uh, freshman experience here at Stanford. Can you comment a little on that? Uh, yeah, I think my freshman year I was surrounded by great teammates and I think if it mirrors it in any way, it's that. I'm around great teammates again, people who just really understand the game and like I said have passion for it so when you're around people who want to succeed you know and everyone has that same goal that usually ends up going all right so yeah and uh, we've heard rumors that you've made quite a few good friends <laughs> on your new team and uh, you know how can you explain kind of the language and cultural barriers that you know coming to a school in the United States from Texas you didn't really have to deal with language or any kind of cultural background right. barriers uh, what types of stuff comes up with your team and kind of how do you work through those things? Right. So a lot of my teammates are from England, but there's a few. There's two Spaniards and then there's two Scottish and then two Irish. But everyone speaks English. And um, like you said, it's not really language barrier. It's just a little slang. Like we'll word things a little differently. And I'll always like, you know, make a laugh here and there. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been fun. Cool. And your relationship here at Stanford with Coach Ratcliffe was clearly a very, very admirable relationship for many other players. And how's your relationship with your new coach at Arsenal? New coach at Arsenal, he's really nice. He's really awesome. Um, since he coached in America, I feel like he gets, I don't know, he gets where I'm coming from, which helps. And he cares about his players and cares about, you know, trying to get Arsenal back back to where it was uh, before, which is the top of the league. So it's been fun. Well, thank you so much, Chief, for checking in. Anytime, caters. And uh, we'll see you next week down at the Stanford Farm when you crush it in small goals. <laughs>